I'm only 5'8", and this fellow was about the same size. Little goatee beard, little ponytail, but he seemed to be on his own. And I went to say to him, I said, are you in showbiz? I went to say, are you in show business? Thank goodness Roland Joffey got in between the two of us. So this fella didn't hear me. And Roland turned around and he said, Rick, I'd like you to meet Robert De Niro. <laughs> <laughs> and I said to him, I was going to say, are you in show business? <laughs> oh, it does sound like, oh, I thought. Oh, it's like the, it's do you like know what I thought I was buying? I bought the wrong thing. I thought I was buying a whistle that you stand on the platform and, go, and the train moves. But this is quite fun. We can play it playing trains. A hearty puff produces the hauntingly evocative hoot of an old-time locomotive. All aboard. That's the key to happiness, they say. Find something more important than you and dedicate your life to it. Aye, are you happy with me, then? <laughs> Right, can you sit down? So I said to the receptionist, I said, excuse me, I said, you couldn't give us a COVID mask, could you? And she went, yeah, of course, she said. Hey. She said, I'm glad you're looking after your, you know, your health. I said, it's not that. I said, all them people in there, I said, if I go in without me, with me face, not, nothing covered up, I said, do you think it's George Clooney? She went, oh, oh. And so I'm sitting there with all these people, some are reading, some are doing crossword, and she comes over to Tannoy. Uh, cubicle number one, Billy Smith. Cubicle number seven, Harold Jones. <laughs> Cubicle number nine, George Clooney. <laughs> I feel like my kisses are that expensive. <laughs> yes, they are, babe. And yours, boo boo. I'm glad I didn't have that vegetarian curry today. Oh, I'm glad you didn't. Mm. You, know, you know, you get a bit. Well, I'm a martyr to John. mine. What? You know what? My digestion. Mm. Mm. I think it's me that's a martyr to it. <laughs> I'm normally downwind of it. <laughs> Dolphins are overrated. Have you ever, I bet you've swum with them, haven't you? No, I've never swum really? with them. Really? That, that's the sort of thing you would do. What, 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 I'm, what I'm morally bankrupt? No. That I've got Just no... sort of like, oh, that's something, yeah, you've got to do it. Why are you doing that accent? That's how you talk. Well, no, I find them a bit overrated, dolphins. Oh, yeah, got to go and swim with a dolphin. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, when you're yeah. out in boobs, you've got to swim with a dolphin. Yeah, exactly. That's Feed dolphin. Go, swim with yeah, dolphin. swim with a dolphin. Oh, this bloke came round. I was like, oh, no, I don't want to go swim with the dog. You told me about it. I was like, oh, I've got it to do will that. change your life. Change they are wonderful life. creatures. I took everybody in, the whole family. They loved it. Yeah. That oh, was brilliant. It's AI, you see. It's going to take over. What, like robots writing scripts? And replacing actors. Oh, yeah, yeah. no. Weird. No, weird. Could we get a deboarded, Greg Wallace? Could I turn up in the quarterfinal of Pro MasterChef with a curly perm? Yes. I'd like that. Absolutely. You can't create this in yeah, AI. Yeah. This, what we have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't, AI. You can't be like me. <laughs> you don't know what I'm going to do next, AI. <laughs> AI would never have done that, bro. <laughs> my job can be done by AI. All I've got to do is clone my voice. Stop talking. And make an AI version of me. And then that's it. I'm out of a job. Sometimes you just have to go out there and do the patois. On the news. Yeah, that's true. Mix it up. That'd be really difficult to get right. At 10 o'clock, Panda Dot, hear the news. <laughs> Sorry, we haven't got any lime or salt. Mm. Oh. Yummy. Uh, what was that? Tequila. But what type? Cheap. Cheap tequila. Oh, you like Come a... Come in a plastic bottle shape like a cactus. You're like an 18 to 30s holiday. I was in the bath the other day and I just could not... <laughs> I could not get myself out of the bath. Like, like a beached whale. whale. I, I was. I was a beached whale. I pulled out the plug. Giles and his good friend Susie. And every time I tried to move, I slipped along the bottle and I began calling out to my wife. Yes. OK, who's in the other room. Poor but thing. when she goes to bed, because of my snoring, she, she wears earplugs. Plugs. So I was calling out to my wife saying, you know, please help. I didn't want to make her too panic. So I sort of did a gentle, help, uh, help, anybody there? <laughs> Nothing to worry about, but there's somebody there. Would you come? 
and I'm lying there. How long did it, it take? It was quite frightening. I was certainly there for half an <gasps> hour. Giles! And it got better because eventually... It dried out? It dried out. And then I and was able to inch my way... Covered in up. goosebumps. And then... Oh, no, go, I mean, over there, there's... What a, the tragedy of this is there's a huge mirror by the bar <laughs> and on the other side. So I was able to see this hideous, hideous sight. Idio repulsive. I need to get used to my new little Skoda. What is it? One litre? You know, I don't know these things, bro. I know it's automatic and it's got Apple CarPlay. That's banging. <laughs> That's all I need. That's banging. That's, That's all, all you need, so. I got CarPlay. But well, I was supposed to pick up some girls tomorrow and I'm thinking about getting them an Uber. <laughs> <laughs>